What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I want to go over Search Console Insights. So it's a brand new product from Google, specifically through the Google Search Console, and it's in beta. So this is a closed beta, so you might not have all these details for your website yet, but they will be rolling it out to every user. So if you want to see if you can view this for your own website, what you want to do is go to this URL right at the top, and when you go in, you're going to be signed into your Google account, and you just want to click on Open Search Console Insights. So what that's going to do is it's going to open up a page that looks like this. So this is my search console insights for beachfrontdecor.com. Now, if you're not seeing it here, you could also try to do a Google search for a term that you're already ranking for. So you can see here I typed in beach lounge chair. So this is a term that I'm ranking for with beachfrontdecor.com. So if we scroll down, you're going to see this little card right here. And you're going to see new search console ins insights for this site so if you click here it's also going to open up this page so before we go through my site overview for beachfrontdecor.com let's just look at google's description of their own brand new product so you're going to see an easier way to understand how your content resonates with readers so if we scroll down you're going to see provide content creators with the data they need to make informed decisions and improve their content so what it's going to help you do is see which pieces of new content are performing well, are engaging with your visitors. It's going to show you total page views, where your traffic is coming from, how people find your website. If we keep scrolling down, you're going to see the new experience is powered by data from Search Console and Google Analytics. So Google is using that data to give you Search Console insights about your websites. And then before we get to the site overview, we keep scrolling down. You're going to see how can it help you. You're going to see what are your best performing pieces of content. So this is something I always like to look at. This is really the main thing I like about this new tool because I like to see what pieces of content are engaging, are driving the most revenue for me, are the most valuable for me, because then you know you want to keep creating pieces of content like those ones. So how are your new pieces of content performing? How do people discover you across the web? What are your site's top and trending search queries on Google search? And what other sites and articles are linking to your website's content? Did you get any new links? Now you can see if we scroll down who can use this at the moment. It is a closed beta that's currently only available to a group of users. So I have this right now for my website, Beachfront Decor. So let's get into the site overview. If you don't see this yet, I would just give it some time. Eventually, they're going to roll it out to every single user. So you'll be able to see this as long as you have Google Search Console and Google Analytics installed on your domain. So we'll scroll down all time page views. So this is pulled directly from Google Analytics. So I'm almost at 2 million all time page views for beachfronttocore.com. A lot of those really coming in the last year. But if we scroll down past 28 days, you're going to see almost 100,000 page views. Over the past month, I had over 100,000 page views for Beachfront Decor, and you can see my average page view duration, one minute, 45 seconds, not too bad. It's a number I usually try to get above two minutes. It's really my goal, so I know people are engaging with my website. Keep scrolling down, and it's gonna start with some new content. Any of my new content from the past 28 days. So for this, you're gonna see I've already kind of gone through it a little bit, but for my website, it's gonna show some different products. If we click through, you're gonna see some different articles here. So there's a few different things that I've been working on, on my website, but some of these things, nautical bathroom decor, it's an article I just published and I'm still working on, only six page views. Nothing really too concerning. If you go through and you see any pieces of new content that are really resonating with people, then it's gonna help you learn what types of content you should continue to create and promote to your social and email list audiences. Now, what I like is your most popular content by page views in the past 28 days. So first, it's my homepage. Next, beach bedding sets, coastal bedding sets, beach themed bathroom ideas. So we'll keep scrolling through. But what I like is looking at some things like high average view duration. If we come back to the other one with beach themed bathroom ideas, four minutes and 14 seconds. So this is just a listing of different beach bathroom ideas and different designs. So if we click here, what it's gonna do is give us a little bit more information about this page. All time page views for this page, 25,000. How it's doing over the past 28 days, over 2,300 page views, average page view duration is very strong. Keep scrolling down, how people find my page, so social, organic search, and direct. So it's really good to drive a lot of people through social in addition to organic search, because as you can see here, almost 1,300 people have visited this page over the last 28 days just from social channels, probably mainly Pinterest. That's really my main social media channel in terms of traffic. So it's gonna give you a lot of information, how people find this, what search queries are driving traffic 
to this individual page and some of the search queries that if you're already ranking for you want to make sure you keep these average positions very high now if we keep coming down you're going to see referring links from other websites so some different places where that are sending traffic to my website so these are some different referrals and some of the top referring links you can see over the last 28 days only 13 page views so it's really not a whole lot social media you can see the majority are coming from pinterest pretty much everybody came from pinterest so it just gives you some more information about how people are finding specific pages and what types of content are resonating with people the most so we'll come back to site overview and we'll keep scrolling down look at some of the other things that they're giving to us how people find me organic search for the most part and then social and then direct keep coming down and you can see how visitors find my site through google search so again a lot of this data is just it's pulled from Google Search Console and Google Analytics. So if you're already using Google Search Console, you're gonna get a lot of this data already, but this kind of gives you a prettier picture and a prettier way to view it. So you can see what your most search queries are, what your top pages are, how they're performing, much easier than kind of going directly into the performance tab. So in the Google Search Console, this is me for beachfront decor. So you can see this is the last three months. And if we come in here to performance, you can also see a lot of the same data by just going directly to performance. But Search Console Insights, there are some different things that I like about this. You can see referring links from other websites, which pages on the web link to my website, and which are driving page views from referral traffic, how long the average page view duration is. So this can be helpful. You go through and see if there's any websites that are driving a lot of traffic to you, and then continue to try to optimize to drive more traffic from those websites social media so for this website i really focus mainly on pinterest and instagram i focus on facebook a little bit but it really just doesn't drive a ton of traffic compared to the efforts that i put in on pinterest and instagram now this is pretty much it right now you can share your feedback at the bottom you can get the full story on google analytics and google search console but one thing to keep in mind is you can click on some of these individual links here so if we scroll up and we're looking at my most popular content, you can click here to see more about your most popular content and get insights about individual pages. So I would be on the lookout to see if you have this yet for your own website. You can just come directly to this URL. Again, I'll put it in the video description, or you can do a search for a search that you're already ranking for. So I could have just done beachfront decor here, and I would see my search performance for this query. And if you see this down here at the bottom, then that's gonna allow you to see your search console insights for your website. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. I'm still learning how to use search console insights myself, and I'm assuming that it's going to change over time. So you may watch this video and this page may might look completely different than it does right now. And it might just be added to the Google search console eventually where you have an insights button and you're just going to see all that information in one place. I think the main benefit of it is being able to see how some of your individual pages are performing and getting insights for your new content and your most popular content. But what you really want to do is just try to have some takeaways like looking at a piece of content, seeing what has a high average session duration, and then trying to create more content like that, or seeing what has a low average session duration and trying to improve it by creating more engaging content. So again, any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.